out? You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. That's all right. This is your first rock, right? Yeah, it looks like it, huh? Why, does it look better to you uh, flipped over? Were you drinking this morning? Huh? Yeah, I think you were. No, I'm sorry. Okay. Now, you're never going to get this to line up perfect like this right here. If you wanted to, you could take a little more time and custom cut that. It's Man, it's not even necessary. A lot of the times, once we get this mud, we'll just come back and chop off anything that looks odd. Sometimes that's easier. Than, you're not trying to make a puzzle here. In fact, these muds that we're going to use today, they can span six inches. Oh yeah, there's no mud that you've ever, ever touched in your hand that will span free, free span six inches. Horizontally even. So I mean, there's also like, no, it's like about three quarters of an inch. But if you wanted to, you could take this and put it right in that mud and just use it as a backer. I'll, I could do that or I can just span it. So it's really not important. Like this, this sort of stuff, you're not, you'd, I, I would prefer to see you have a little bit in there because just like in plywood, the H clip, it basically grabs both sides of the plywood and gives it a rigidity. In our case here, that's not going to be a disadvantage, it's going to be an advantage. So you don't have to have these things perfectly cut and fit to make it work. So just get the thing cut, get it stood up, get it wired together. Let's go. We got to produce. Um, at this point now, we have uh, uh, still we still got a whole panel which is right over there. But I'm more inclined at this point to try and find some pieces like this. Maybe not even this one, but I need to make. If you see here, these are all lower pieces just to kind of come in here and make a make a perimeter. Usually. What we'll do is we'll leave this top off and we could back mud. We seam the, seam the muds on, on all the corners and then come in here and back. If you wanted a non-hollow sounding rock and more structure, back that with some mortar and then put the top on. And that's just so much easier. And the top, because there's a three inch inside here, you basically would just set this like you do a tile. You'd mortar some mud down there and stick it down in there and you'd be done. But, um, that ain't gonna work for this. This one would because it's got a, uh, you know, like that's, I'm more inclined to use that right there. This little piece, I'd probably, look, I always keep my pieces library in front of me from the littlest to the medium to the big ones and I choose the appropriate piece that's gonna be not needing to be cut as much. I wanna find a piece that basically fills that little area. I need a piece that comes right here and then basically I'm gonna span this with a, with a full piece. That one looks like it might just work almost you know what i mean that's pretty good that's close enough but what i'm going to do is try and get a piece that just covers this now sometimes my sons will basically just grab this thing and put it on and just start looking underneath and cutting it you can also if you want to be more exact put a piece of cardboard over here trace it and make a little template and take it over the rock and cut it that way there's a lot of ways of looking at this obviously we need a piece here and then we need to adjust the top to where if you laid something over here, do you see the big void in there? You know, so you can cut your top or, or add to it. Whatever you got to do, you got to make a rock. So with that being said, I don't want to take too much more time. You guys, there's two grinders. Maybe if we can work and cruise the three, you guys will start attaching this rock. I'll get another guy over here. We'll start getting this thing where it's rocking and rolling.